Hi everyone, welcome to the Math 5740 videos. So today we want to continue section 6.D, the final payments, the balloon and drop payments. So uh, you can review the videos, the 3, 26, 2, 3 and 4 as needed. So today we want to start with an example, example 2. The annual effective interest rate is 5%, and $1 deposit is made at the end of each year for 10 years. The $2 is withdrawn each year starting one year after the last deposit. So how many withdrawals can be made? So the point is that each withdrawal is $2, but we cannot exhaust the fund with the, uh, an integer number of $2. So the final payment may be larger or smaller. Think about the timeline of this question. So in the first 10 years that we deposit $1, so 1, 2, 3, up to 10, and $1 each above this timeline, then after that, we started to receive $2 each. So $2, $2. And at last, we have some remaining balance. So $2 plus alpha, I would say. And the interest rate is 5%. And we want to determine N. So at first, we want to calculate accumulated value of this 10 times $1 at time 10. So a new time diagram starts at 10. And the present value is by definition S right angle 10 at 5%. So at first, the S right angle 10 at 5%. You can use BA2 plus calculator um, using the future value button to get this is 12.578. And next, we want to solve this time diagram. So solve. Um, two times a right angle n at 5% is equal to 12.578. So basically, we just ignore this balance alpha and we solve this. And by BA2 plus calculator, you can calculate n from this. So um, to be exact, the, you can put the negative 12.578 present value and the two payment and the five interest rate and compute n. Then you get n is equal to 7.738 years. So that means the seven payments will be made. So seven withdrawals. And the sum amount remains still in the account. Okay, so now that we determine the N. So next question, B. What is the remaining balance just after the last withdrawal? So the timeline is 10 to 17. So at time zero, present value is 12.578. This is from the uh, previous slide. And payment, the seven payments. Uh, plus remaining amount x. So we want to calculate this remaining balance x. So how to solve this? So this 12.578 is equal to annuity 
with seven payments of two dollars at five percent. So this is equal to um, two times a right angle seven at five percent and plus the present value of x. So present value of x is 1.05 to the power negative 7 times x. So this is the present value of x. So you can solve this for x. So x is equal to 1.05 to the 7th power then we move this 2 times a right angle 7 to the other side. So 12.578 minus 2 right a right angle 7 at 5%. So this becomes 1.41. So the answer is $1.41. So remaining balance is $1.41. Okay, so next question. C. If the remaining amount is withdrawn a year after the last $2 withdrawal, what is the amount? So we have different way of withdrawals. So first seven payments are the same. So $2 each up to time 17. But we have um, some remaining balance at 17 and we are we withdraw that money at time 18 but this time diagram is almost the same as the last time so only the difference is originally we have x here but the um, now that we have y here uh, one year after x so y is one year after x and interest rate is 5%, so y is 0 0.15 times x, so this is 1.05 times 1.41 from the previous slide, so this is $1.49. So this is the answer. Okay, so this is the uh, chapter 6D, and you can now do the quiz for two one and the uh, this is due on friday april 3rd at 11 59 pm okay see you then